Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ginger Rides Vlog. So, this episode we're just going to do another quick rebuild on the carburetor. So, the first thing you need to do, at least for my ATV, is there's screws all along these panels on each side. You just have to take them all off, like this. Then there's this one back here, which is actually more of a ribbit style. And so, what we got to do with that is get a flat head here and just kind of pry it out of there. Yeah, like that. Okay guys, so basically we did both steps on both sides and this side here you can see a, a pump for gasoline and this is a fuel filter right here and this is the actuator right here to uh, turn it on and off. Now this is the, this is the clutch I believe right here and uh yeah battery some sort of fuse here and this is the air box i'll take this off in a second i'm going to take this off uh just for this video like it's not really required but i want to paint this so yeah that's about it so guys another update i lost my 10 millimeter socket for like all of my socket sets so i'm actually uh i had to do all like this these super long bolts here just by hand with the this little wrench right here but you know, so you got to do. Next step here is to take the gas can off, and how we'll do that is underneath here. There's a gas line. You probably cannot see it, but that gas line runs down from underneath there, and it runs all the way right here. Or excuse me. This is the carburetor. It's the fuel pump, and this this one right here. That's from the gas tank. And that's what we will take off. So how I set, have it set up here is this is a line out to the switch and I just have it on these little crimps so the gas can't get out. And this is what it looks like now. Nice and open and carburetor and it goes into the head right there so you get plenty of access to it. And I'll probably take this out just to get this all washed out. So now we're taking out the air box and you know I don't have my 10 millimeter socket so Take these out by hand there and here and uh, take this off and I believe you can unscrew it from here. So you take that off and these are air hoses that go into the head you can take them off too. Yeah. So next step here is uh, there's just this little hose clamp right here. I'm going to take that out by just a screwdriver right in there and loosening it. Uh, but that, you know, not really required. So I'll take that off in a second. Now uh, that's off. Here is a, uh, we've, that's the differential, or that's the uh, transfer case. And that's the head right here. This piston goes this, this direction. And so that's the carburetor right there, actually quite small. And this is the tube from the air box into the carburetor. The problem is, if you look in there, I don't know how much light there is, yeah, probably not much, but it's so cramped up in here, because uh, how short it is, there's like no airflow, like at all. Like, I'm having a hard time sticking my screwdriver in there. So yeah, that's about it. So now what I did before I take the carburetor out, which all I need to do here is loosen that screw there, or loosen it from the head, and then just a couple of gas lines, cables, automatic uh, automatic choke throttle cable and uh, yeah just a few more cables but that's about it I you know I cleaned up the alternator right there with this rag here and just some other places around the engine bay to keep it all tidy Built the carburetor again. It is riding a little bit nicer. Squirrel. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go for a little slow ride here. Just gonna leisurely get out here. You know, nothing wrong with the carburetor. I should be able to push it now. I just just going out for a nice ride. Also, if you notice anything different. 
into this. That's nice and black. 